Our top story is from Pakistan. A massive blast has been reported from inside a mosque in Peshawar. At least 34 people are now confirmed dead. More than 150 have been injured. High security alert has been sounded in capital Islamabad. The blast took place during uh, the press. Look at these visuals. The injured being carried on the back from the blast site. Locals acting as the first responders, rescuing people from the rubble. The police reached the spot soon, uh, helping the injured. Uh, there were many ambulances on the scene, carrying victims to different hospitals. The situation was indeed very chaotic in the moments after the blast. In fact, the mosque where the blast occurred is in shambles. One side of the building completely collapsed. Due to the explosion, people can be seen going through the debris looking for the injured and survivors. I did not see any dead bodies. We took out the injured and sent them to the hospital. The dead bodies should all be inside the mosque buried under the rubble. Meanwhile, sniper shooters have been deployed at sensitive areas, including ports and other important buildings. Intensive checking is being carried out across uh, the city of Peshawar. Early reports suggested that the bomb was triggered by a suicide bomber who was present inside the mosque during the prayers. Pakistan in the recent past has uh, been hit by way too many terror attacks. In December alone, four blasts took place in the country. Eight blasts have hit Pakistan uh, since July last year. The Tehreeke Taliban Pakistan, a terror outfit which has become active in recent months, claimed responsibility for three of these eight attacks. For more on this story, we're now joined by our Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik. Anas, uh, what's the latest that you can tell us? Uh, According to the information we have, at least 34 people have died and more than 150 are injured. Uh, what are the latest figures you have? Also, has anyone claimed responsibility so far for this attack? Well, as we speak, uh, Neha, last question first. Nobody, no organization has as yet come forward and claimed responsibility for this heinous act of terror that has happened today uh, when uh, during Zohar prayers, afternoon prayers, a suicide bomber who was standing in the front row blew himself up uh, and that has uh, resulted in the loss of lives of at least 34 people and over 150 are injured. Uh, the, the, this is absolute carnage. The gravity is as such. It's so big that the Prime Minister of Pakistan, Shabazz Sharif, as I talk to you, he is currently in Peshawar. He's there personally because this is the worst terror attack that the, the province of KP has witnessed in, uh, in a year's time. The last time we saw, we saw some, something like that was uh, during uh, Easter last year in 2022, where about 32 people had lost their lives and, uh, and over 80 were injured. Uh, and uh, in here, in, in Peshawar's police line mosque, at least 34 have been killed and the death toll is expected to go up for the very reason that the people are still, there are people still buried under the rubble uh, of the mosque and uh, uh, the adjoining building as well that had fallen due to the sheer intensity of the blast. Neha? Yeah. Well, uh, it does look like the death toll is going to go up further. So many people injured, many of them are in a critical condition. Our thoughts and prayers on us are with the victims of this terror attack. Thank you very much for getting us all those details.